What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, wow. It is Friday afternoon. It is week number two already in the NFL season. I don't know about you, but man, last night was crazy. You, you said you talked to Rasheed? Yeah, he was a strong. I would imagine, you know, he didn't show, he, he disappeared I mean, on the live stream. I mean, you have to say, oh, that may have been Daniel Jones' best game. Yeah, he didn't turn over the football. Surprisingly, Daniel Jones did not turn over the football. And but that's the, Jesus what lost the for, for the Giants. Man, and, and that's the first time that they have lost to Washington in forever. I, I, I feel bad for him. I, I really do. No, well, I don't. Well, well, he said, he said, he said, if you want to do an interview with him today or wait till Sunday. Now, look at that. He that, got you. Tell, tell me, that's, that, that is without being clamped up. Now, that's a tight, look at that. Making cabinet doors right here. This is what we do. So, he, he, you said that he's willing to talk? Either today or if you come to Sunday, he's willing to talk about his team. You mean his trash he ass said, He said his team was so bad, how bad were they? He couldn't even... Muster the energy to go to God today and work. <laughs> well, he, you know, he, he, he needs to blame himself on this because, you know, he kept talking about Dak Prescott and things. You know, that's karma coming back to bite him in the ass. But Washington shouldn't feel real good about this themselves. The defense played like an ass. <laughs> How bad? Look, I was talking to Brother Roz this morning. I said, Roz. Okay, I, I'm trying to understand fantasy football, and I said, you know, everybody's talking about how good the Washington defense is, right? I said, from a fantasy football standpoint, how is the Washington football team's defense doing? He said, people are trading and getting rid of them. He said, I, I think what he said, I think he said that between last week and this week, they have a total of three fantasy points. Three. Three. I'll to put it, this in perspective, look, look, the Cowboys, I think we had eight last week. So, let, eight, let me eight, say, eight, eight, eight so we good. have more, we have more than double the points of the Washington defense um, in one game to two games of Washington. So, so much for that being a lights out defense. But anyway, we've got our own problems. You know, we can't sit here and enjoy the, the problem with the Washington football team, although I think they found a quarterback, and I believe he's been named the starter now. Um, even when Brian Fitzpatrick gets back. So, Brian Fitzpatrick's already done his disappearing act and has already made way for the next generation of quarterback. So, the question will be is, is this going to be the end of Brian Fitzpatrick? Actually, that's not the real question that we're here for. The real question or, or conversation is, I don't know how many of you guys knew, Ty Naseki. Look, I love that. Look at that. Ty Naseki who is um, supposed to be our swing offensive tackle, who got reps as the starter on Monday, um, was dehydrated in practice. The Cowboys are saying, you know what? This isn't Camp Cupcake anymore. We're practicing outside in the Texas heat to get y'all in shape. Well, Ty Naseki didn't get that memo he was dehydrated and was actually hospitalized, in which case he got released um, after getting IVs and stuff. He is out for the game this weekend. So what does that mean? Brandon Knight is now your swing tackle. And Terrence Steele is your starter. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's real wood right there, guys. You know. I may be old, but I still got that wood up here. Um, Ty Naseki um, is out for the game. Brandon Knight will be the um, swing tackle if anybody goes down between Terrence Steele or if Tyron Smith goes down. He is the backup for both of those. And uh, that's where we are with this situation. Um, as far as any news on players that we have out, Lyle Collins, we've heard nothing about um, whether or not he's going to get a second opportunity to uh, get that appeal. I don't think that's going to happen. That would require the NFL to actually give us a break 
and we know breaks in the Dallas Cowboys, that doesn't happen ever. So count on him being out for the next five weeks, and there's nothing we can do about that. Um, Randy Gregory, um, I think you can pretty much count him as being out as well right now um, with the COVID test. Um, the chances, of course, were slim and none. It seems like it's pretty much a 10-day turnaround on players. Now, he was asymptomatic, which was a good thing, but you can still test positive. So, evidently, he must have still tested positive um, in his test, or his retest, I should say. Um, so, so much for that one. And... We had yesterday Micah Parsons practicing with the defensive line, which I think we will actually see him playing some edge rusher with D Law having had surgery on his foot. Um, let's hope, let's hope that he is back in that six to eight week window. But with him being in a cast and having surgery on it and then going to need to rehab it, um, it may be longer before he gets in. But, if there's any good news, we start thinking about the games upcoming that we have. Um, I'm not as scared of San Diego. Excuse me, San Diego. I, I'll never get that out of my head. You know, when you said something all your life, now changing up, it's kind of like, you know, y'all don't write checks anymore either, do you? You don't, write, you don't even have a checkbook, do you? Okay. You used to have to actually write a check to people to pay your bills. And you know, when the year turned over, so it's 2021, you're still writing 20. That's how I am with the Chargers. I well, keep, I mean, now it's electronic. I know, I got it. So you guys don't understand the struggle, okay? Um, I'll never get over the San Diego part of that. But after seeing what the Giants were able to do, Daniel Jones, Little Daniel Jones rushed for 95 yards. Barkley, who is a shell of himself, rushed for 56. It would have been 100 if he got over 100 if he got that touchdown. Is it safe to say that the Washington defense is not as tough as we thought? And, and I hate to say this. I, I, You know, Mike, I hate to say this, but you got to look at. God, I hate to say this. I don't want to say it, man. But you have to look at the uh, Eagles. God. The Eagles have a good team. And at the moment, the Eagles they have a play this week. Actually, look, well, they have, yeah, but they have a victory. Washington has a victory in the division, so technically... They'll, they're ahead. If, if the Eagles lose. If the Eagles lose. Which I think the Eagles will lose. If the Cowboys win, we're still behind. Yeah, because so, we'll not be a divisional win. Yeah. So we'll be number two. We'll be number two. If, if the Eagles lose. Number two? Are you talking about the stadium? Or uh, FedEx Field? And I said we'll be number two in the division if the Eagles lose. And we win. This week, this week. And next week, we can probably go come come for the division next week. Because oh, Washington not beating the Bills. Um, I don't think so. And the, the Giants, Giants, the Giants, they play Giants Atlanta, have, they, Atlanta. They, they so have a chance. They, they have a chance to get on board. If, if Daniel Jones plays anywhere near where he did this week, they'll win next week. But see, the sad That's thing for the Giants is they had chances. They, they had it's, chances. It's penalties. It's penalties, drop passes. Because Daniel Jones ran for a touchdown and had to bring it back because the penalties didn't settle for a field goal. Yep. That kind of should have been. That, that, that would have won him the game. Yep. So it was over. It was, it was almost 200 yards of penalties. Close, or at least 150 to 200 yards of penalties. Yep, that's not good. That's not good. All right, Joe. I hope you tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream. We're going to get lively like we always do. You know how we roll. Um, getting ready for. Uh, Week number two, um, if you enjoyed last night's live stream where we had our exclusive Pizzle Cam, 
be sure to tune in on Sunday because that cam will be the Philly 500 meltdown cam. And we'll see what the Eagles do against the 49ers. And then we'll roll right into the Cowboys versus the Chargers. So I need to try and get my sleep tomorrow. This is how we do it. No Home Depot made cabinets for this guy. We make our own. This is how we do it. It's Friday night. Party's here on the left side. Is underway. I'm kind of buzzed, and it's all because this is how we do it. So Central doesn't like nobody else. This is how we do it. If you were from where I'm from, then you would know. This is how we do it. Boom. All right, good people. Hope you're having a very productive, great day. We're going to keep on working on getting you guys your racks and stuff out of here. You can see all the great stuff Mike is over here painting. We've got to do a house divided Steeler Cowboy shot glass rack in here too. So uh, yeah, just got to keep on rolling. Have a good one. Peace.